Enjoy this message courtesy of Overcomers Assembly Studio. In life, you've got to make a choice, right or wrong. We pray that you are blessed as you make the right choices in life. Because you are the only one that can reverse the irreversible in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Yeah, we are looking at the title or the topic tagged miracles. 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 May each and every one of us experience a miracle in our lives, in our homes, all around us, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The question is, what are miracles? We all hear it, miracles, miracles, testimonies, or miracles, but what are miracles? A miracle is an extraordinary event caused by something supernatural or divine. Miracles can be divine, defined in a number of ways. One, exceeding the productive power of nature. Two, violating the laws of nature. And three, a non-repeatable encounter, instance to a law of nature. That is, you can't repeat it. It does not work to fulfill the laws of nature. These are things that happen that everybody will know that something strange has taken place. May God in Christ Jesus allow each and every one of us to witness the miracles of God in Christ Jesus in our lives, in our home, in everything around us to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, let's look at classical examples of miracles as recorded in the Bible. Healing miracles. There are diverse cases of healing miracles, or what we what I term the curing of physical impairment and illnesses in the Bible. If you open to the book of Luke 8, 43 to 48, you will find examples. We are not reading any passage today. We should go into the practicality of miracles. We will pray at the end of just this small talk. Two, natural miracles, that is calming storms, feeding multitudes, and the rest of it. These are miracles that controls nature. Mark 4, 36 to 41, and Mark 14, 22 to 23. Casting out demons and unclean spirits. Matthew 8, 28 to 34. And Restoration miracles, raising the dead back to life. That you will find in John 11, 38 to 44. Now, these are the common miracles witnessed in the Bible during the period of Jesus Christ. Now, let's look at our time. Do we still have miracles recorded in our time? that everybody will agree that they are miracles from God. Let's see those that are documented and see how they can trigger us into praying and trusting God for divine intervention over our lives. It says, examples of miracles that shows that God is still as active today as he was at creation. Because the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. Whatever he has done in the past, he will replicate again in our time. We have mysterious rescue. Dead woman revived. Demonition Bible miracles. Young boy healed. Marriage miracles. Miraculous recovery. Now the question is, just like I said at, uh, at the beginning, do miracles still actually happen? Do we still witness miracles? It has become a controversial topic 
lot of people will tell you, oh, miracles is of the old. Not now. But do people still witness miracles? The answer is yes. The Bible is full of miracles. Jesus healed the sick and the blind. He even raised Lazarus from the dead. The walls of Jericho fell with just a shout and a trumpet blast. When Paul and Silas praised God in the prison, their chains fell off and the doors swung open. Christians wonder if this happens today or if God only moved in the past. Here are some examples of our time that shows God is still active today. Mysterious rescue. Please, all the miracles that I'll be repeating here are the ones documented by all and agreed on. It says in March 2015, Uta Rescuers had an adult yelling, help me, from inside the car that had crashed into the icy Spanish Fork River. When they raced to, the, to answer the call, they found 18 months old Lily suspended above the freezing water in her car seat. Lily's mother had died in the crash, so there was no way she could have been the one calling for help. And Lily was too young to talk. Lily had been hanging upside down for more than 14 hours and would not have survived much longer if it, had, if it hadn't been for the mysterious voice. The question is, where is that voice coming from? Who had that voice? Remember a case of a plane crash that took place in the Mediterranean Sea, I think some couple of years back, where the girl was hanging for life. They said the girl could not swim. Who suspended her? She said she was hearing voices, strange voices. May God in Christ Jesus minister unto each and every one of us today as we go into prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus. What Rudy Grupera Casimero saw when her heart stopped for 45 minutes? Casimero's heart stopped beating for 45 minutes, just as doctors were about to call her time off. Of death, they spotted a beep on the monitor. I was dead she told the ABC News. My husband tells me you were gray, you were ice, and you were dead. You had no color in your lips. Casimero, 40, had gone to the hospital for a cesarean section on September 23rd. The surgery was uneventful, and the baby was healthy. But Casimero started to experience shortness of breath said Boca Roton, regional hospital spokesman, Thomas Chuk Chakuda, told ABC News. The last thing she remembered was being wheeled into the recovery room after the C-section and asking someone for a tissue because her nose felt stuffy. She said it is, felt like she was falling asleep. Casimero then stopped breathing. Doctors tried for three hours to revive her, but it was no use. She had no pulse for 45 minutes. It means clinically she was dead. During that time, she felt herself floating along a channel. I remembered seeing a spiritual being who I believe was my dad. Casimero said, I remembered the light behind me and many other spiritual beings. But suddenly, a force, a force, a force stopped her, and she said she knew she couldn't go any further. Her heart started beating again on its own, even though doctors had, hadn't touched her in several minutes. Chakuda said, I was choosing to be here. She said, adding that she, she's grateful to come back to her family, including her new baby daughter, 
Telly, who turned seven weeks old in November 11. She woke up without any brain damage, broken ribs from chest compression, or bones from the four or five times doctor tries to shock her heart back to life. Doctors think she had a real condition called amniotic fluid embolism, which is what happened when the amniotic fluid leaks into the bloodstream, causing blood clots and leads to cardiac arrest, according to Moyo Clinic. Casimero said that the experience had taught her not to be afraid of death. I realized through all of this that one will really don't really have control over our lives, she said. The day you go is the day that you are destined to go. Three, demolition Debbie's miracle. The demolition Debbie's accident crash. Grace Kibir Longs ha had caused stroke and hemorrhaging in his brain. Family and community members rallied to pray. When Kebby woke up 10 days later, he, cre he credits prayers and faith for his healing. Four, a young boy healed. Doctor tried everything to treat four-year-old Luke Briggs' gastrointestinal problem, but the boy was wasting away. After nuns kept a night nine days vigil, praying a novella, a novena. Luke was completely healed. Luke recovered, was even declared a miracle by the Vatican in 2016. Five, marriage miracle. Donny Register has a new reason to be thankful. He, ma is, he married. Police says his wedding ban deflected a bullet and probably saved his life. Two men walked into Register's shop at the antique market on Saturday and asked to see a coin collection. Police Sergeant Jeffrey Scott said, when Register re retrieved the collection, one of the men pulled a gun and demanded money. A shot was fired as Register threw up his left hand and his wedding ring deflected the bullet. Police said, the bullet managed to go through two of his fingers without severing the bones, said his wife, Darren Register. A part of the bullet broke off and is in his middle finger. The other part is in his neck, lodged in the muzzled tissue, but it is not life-threatening. She said she gives God all the credit. Police are still searching for the robbers who Scott said stole a substantial amount of cash. Then the last one we are going to look at is the miraculous recovery. When little Brandy Grihan was in ATV wreck, he experienced serious head injuries, internal bleeding and broken bones. His parents fell to their nails afraid he was about to die. After being flown to a hospital, the doctor treating him returned in shock and reported the boy didn't have any broken bones. His internal bleeding had stopped and his head injury had healed. He was badly bruised, but a full recover, recovery was expected. These are recorded miracles of our time. We've seen cases of people involved in plane crash. Everybody will perish. One or two people will survive. The case of Bimbo Dukoya will come to mind. It's a miracle. The following week after the crash, the woman or the lady, the PA, had a wedding. It can only be God. The late governor of uh, Kogi State, two of the children were involved in a plane crash. People died in the crash. The plane got burnt. Two of them survived it. 
it can only be God. Now, the reason for this is for us to know that God is still in the business of delivering miracles to his children. There are a lot of times we hear of miracles that we find it extremely difficult to believe that this has actually taken place. But today, each and every one of us, I'm not seeing your faces, neither are you seeing mine. But one thing is, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the one who knows all things, the one who knows each and every one of us and has engraven us into his palm, that same God will intervene over our situations today. That same God will speak to us today. That same God will create a new way for us today. Whatever it is that is standing as a challenge unto each and every one of us, the Lord God Almighty, the one who created the heavens and the earth, the all-knowing God, that same God will lift that body off our shoulders in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That God that is limitless, that God that can reverse the irreversible, that same God will do that which only him can do in our lives today in the mighty name of Jesus. Now let each and every one of us start praying any storm in our life, anything that represents a storm, because while Jesus was on the surface of this earth, he was able to calm the storm. Anything that represents a storm in our life, let us call on God in Christ Jesus that he will visit that storm, that challenge, that thing that is staring us by the face, that the Lord God Almighty, the King of glory, will step into it the same way he can be storm, that he will come each Amen. and every one. And that the glory of God in Christ Jesus will be established upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Our Father, our Lord, our God, eternal rock of ages, all powers in heaven and on earth has been delivered unto you. Father, we therefore present ourselves, Lord, before you, that everything that challenges us, everything that stands as a storm in our lives, Lord, we bring them before you. We table them before you, Lord. Lord, we have no power of our own, but we are calling upon you in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God Amen. the Holy Spirit, that you will take absolute Amen. dominion over our totality. You will remove that blood, you will remove that storm, and the glory of God in Christ Jesus will be enacted and reestablished in our life, and that there will be testimonies Amen. of your goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord God Amen. Almighty, we say thank you, our Father. We say thank you, our Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Keep praying. Let us talk to God Almighty that when the children of the Israelites were crossing the Red Sea, it's a miracle that is difficult to believe that the sea will part ways and people will just walk across this, the sea itself. Let us talk to God. Anything that needs to part ways, anything that needs to shift ground, anything that is creating a barrier unto us for the light of God to be seen in our lives, that the Lord God Almighty, the one who creates that heaven and earth, that same God will touch us. That same God will uproot that evil out of our lives. And the blessings and the glory of God in Christ Jesus will be seen over the life of each and every one of us. Let us pray. Our Father, our Lord, our God, the God that can do all things. Father, we come before you at this hour. Lord, every obstacle in our lives, everything standing against us from moving forward, everything holding us bound, Lord. Father, Lord Jesus, as we come before you today, we ask, Lord, that each and every one of these obstacles will be uprooted completely from our lives and that the glory of God will be established in the mighty name of Jesus, eternal rock of ages, the God that can do all things, the God that knows the beginning and the ending. Lord, we call upon you. Visit us, Lord, in a miraculous way. Father, visit our homes, visit our businesses. Lord, and let the glory of God in Christ Jesus, let it be established, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, that at the end we will come and give testimonies, Lord, of your goodness upon our lives in the powerful name of Jesus. We say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. 
Amen. Everything Amen. representing Amen. everything rep representing demonic attacks over our lives. Just like Jesus Christ healed the madman of Gadara from that demonic attack that whatever it is that is attacking us, whatever it is that is playing riddle over us, in our lives, in our homes, in our businesses, all around us, that the Lord God Almighty, that touched that man of Gadara, that healed him, that that same God will heal us. He will visit us. He will do the miraculous in our lives to the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Our Father, our Lord, our God, the God of yesterday, today, and forevermore. Father, whatever you've done in the time past, we know you can replicate it again in our time. Lord, we yield and surrender our totality unto your hand, that you will miraculously visit us and do that which only you can do in our lives. Whatever represents an obstacle in our life, let them be lifted up, Lord. Let them give way, Lord, and let the glory of God in Christ Jesus be enacted in our lives. So the glory and beauty of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, we will say the final prayer. This will be a prayer of restoration. If Jesus Christ could be lifted up from the grave, if resurrection power could come upon him, we've never witnessed it in the world, that anybody buried, rose from the dead, that everything in us that will allow the glory of God in Christ Jesus to be established, that has been buried in our lives, that they will receive resur resurrection power today to the glory of God. And there, there will be testimonies. Let us pray. Our Father, our Lord, our God, eternal rock of ages, Lord, that same resurrection power that came upon your son, Jesus Christ, Father, let that resurrection power come upon our lives, upon our homes, upon everything that relates to us, Lord, and bring them back to life so that the glory of God in Christ Jesus will be enacted upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Eternal rock of ages, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Father, we yield and surrender our totality unto your hand. Lord, come and glorify your name. Oh, Lord God Almighty, glorify your name in the mighty name of Jesus. We say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, moving now, moving now, make our lives whole again, whole again. Spirit, move, move over all. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, moving now, moving now, make our lives hold again, hold again, spirit move over all. Father, Lord God Almighty, I say thank you again for today. I say thank you that the name of God in Christ Jesus will be glorified and magnified above every other name. Father, that you will grant unto each and every one of us, Lord, a divine miracle that we will be able to testify of your goodness, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we say thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Let's uh, add one or two more prayer points, especially at this time when we are seeing war all over most especially around Jerusalem. Let's pray for the peace of Jerusalem, that the Almighty God himself will calm the storm in Jerusalem area right now, and that the war will cease, and that the children of God will not be caught 